Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised that this life will have its share of challenges, trials, hardships. It doesn't mean you lose heart. The dominant culture today in the world promotes entertainment, enjoyment, pursuit only of wealth and fake happiness. People stay stuck for most of their life trying to pursue a mirage, a delusion. This life is designed, is created to test us, to challenge us, to squeeze us, to crush us. It's not designed for pleasure. There will be pleasures in it, but the pleasures are not goals on their own. They don't have any intrinsic value of their own. They're just part of life. They're part of the grace of life. There's ups and downs. So don't get attached too much to this life. You are here renting your spot in this life. You're literally renting. So don't think you're gonna reside forever. Don't act as if you're gonna reside forever. You're here for a short period of time. And nothing you have belongs to you. Nothing. Nothing. And soon you will leave this world only taking yourself out. Only, and you will leave everything behind, everything you call mine and many things that you call, you think are you. Many people think their wealth, their wealth is who they are. Their car is who they are. Their reputation is who, you, who they are. Their looks and appearance is who they are. But all of that is borrowed stuff. None of that is yours. The only thing that was given to you and will remain with you is your heart. Your heart, your deeds. And that's what you're going to leave this life with. That's it. That's, that's the only thing you're going to take out of that life. So take care of that. Everything else, don't get attached to it. It's utility. Use it. Utilize it. Benefit from it. Put it to good use. Good use meaning something that will bring you closer to Allah. Something that will... Make a good contribution. That's it. Forget about reputation. Forget about how people see you. How people think about you. Forget about what you possess. Forget about the beauty of your clothes. All of that is going to come to pass. Look at previous nations. Kings, ministers, rich people, strong people, tyrants. Where are they? They're all gone. They're all gone. We are going to be gone as well. But that's the delusion of life. It seems to be everlasting and eternal as we are dealing with it. Why? Because it constricts us. We become completely absorbed in the moment. And it seems as though it's going to last forever. But nothing lasts forever. Nothing in the creation lasts forever. Everything is going to come to an end. Your health will go. Look around and see any person who is struggling with their health. You think they've been like that all their life? No, in their youth, they probably were the most athletic, fit person. You think you're safe from that? There will be moments where the gifts of Allah will be taken away from you as a trial, as a test. So let's remain man mindful of this responsibility of life and our obligation to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and know that of your own, you cannot fulfill it. And that's why you need to seek Allah's help. You always need to seek Allah's help. You are helpless as a human being. You can't even pass through this test of life. It's only the help of Allah that enables you to do that. So you need to be humble and ask Allah for that. And never take credit for whatever good you do. And that's why we say, إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ Oh Allah, it's only you that you, what we worship and it's your help that we seek because we can't do that of our own. We're helpless. The more you recognize this, the more help from Allah is going to come to you. Please like, share and subscribe to the Digital Member YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Please also like, share and subscribe to our Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description of this video.